Now a leap day comes only once every four Februaries, but at the University of Connecticut in Stamford, that means an extra day to celebrate Black History Month. Lift every voice and sing, Thou who has brought us thus far on the way. Having branches throughout the state, the co-op is not only the official bookstore for the University of Connecticut, but they have also played host to the Black History Celebration for the past eight years. The bookstore collaborates with the University of Connecticut and the community, and we bring in people throughout and we celebrate African American history, and yes, this year it is on Leap Day. In addition to the festivities at the campus co-op, the celebration featured a community expo highlighting local organizations and small businesses, which provide vital services to our community. The Stanford Police Department is here. And leaders from our community, which provide a diverse dialogue about how far we have come. I'm the first African American woman director of this campus, so there's still room for firsts. And how much further we need to go. It would be great to get to a point I think in, in history where we no longer had to celebrate any of these because we would be appreciative and understanding of the fact that all of our cultures and all of our religions are important and should be celebrated. Let us pray. God, we are grateful and thank you for this privilege you've allowed us to gather this day as we seek to remember and reflect upon the history of African Americans and the struggle that we've had through the centuries. There's always room for, for growth, improvement, more. Uh, first, if you will, but we have come a long way and, and for that we're very grateful and this is a celebration of that as well. We should emphasize not Negro history, but the Negro in history. With all the speakers being key, Jack Bryant was an anchor in the discussion, keeping to the roots of black history in America. I would like to bring your attention to two events. The cases of Plessy versus Ferguson and Brown versus the Topeka Board of Education two monumental cases in American history that spurred desegregation in schools and helped to ignite the fire of the civil rights movement. That's how the NAACP became the largest civil rights organization in the nation. It was started by, by white, white people in the room. It wasn't just started by black people. This is an educational institution, so I think the students should be educated. This is for the Mitchell Middle School students and the students of UConn who, who didn't know that fact. It's good that we have a month. I'm glad we got an extra day, but uh, I also think it should be 365 days out of the year. We should celebrate black history. And all the participants in the event certainly understand that to celebrate is not just about being African American. It's about being American together.